This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind. Sleep well, Nasha. Sleep well. Well, that's that. There's one thing I don't understand, Jumping Dick. There's a lot of things I don't get myself. No. I mean, there's a lot of violent deaths and quick burials going on around here without much regard for law. Uh, law don't get out this way much. Well, in my opinion, it should. How can it? Ain't no roads in here. No roads at all? I uh, reckon the closest road's 40 miles over that way somewhere. That's great. Ain't no telephones, you know. Only thing we got's the railroad up yonder, half mile. And trains scoop by us like scared rabbits. I know. By the way, why was that boxcar shuttered off on the siding up there? When you fellas come in? Yes. One of the wheels froze on it. You mean they backed it onto the siding because it was out of order? Yeah, wheel froze. But why is the siding out there? Isn't there any industry that has use for it? There used to be a mine back on the desert. It's shut down now. Though. I see. Jack, Laurie here is just telling me and Reggie something interesting. Well? Uh, go on, Laurie. Tell Jack. Well, it's about the money belt you lost last night. I didn't lose it. Someone slugged me and stole it. Yes, I know. But last night... Laurie. What? You be careful what you say. Oh, but father... It ain't good going around shooting off your mouth in these parts. You're the one who's talking too much, Jumping Dick. All I'm saying well, is... Well, don't. It... Now, what were you going to say, Laura? Yes, I'd, I'd like to hear it, too. Oh, you would, huh? You want to repeat it in front of the maestro? Oh, yes, I think so. Then go ahead. Well, last night, about five minutes before I stumbled over you, when you were unconscious, I saw someone... Sneaking along through the greasewood in the moonlight. Can you describe him? I don't think so. Well, you know everyone and bury a dead. Could it have been one of them? Well, I... I thought it was a girl. But you're the only girl in this place. Except Nasha. Nasha was dead then. Well, I say, how about our landlady, Dry Gulch Mary? No, it wasn't Mary. I'd know Mary any place, even if it was pitch black. And it wasn't. It was moonlight. You're sure it was a girl? Oh, Yeah. Yes, I am. It just plain don't make sense, Jack. The only females in Bury You Dead is Dry Gulch Mary, Laurie here, and Nasha. Oh, she swears it wasn't Mary, and Nasha's dead. What makes you so sure it was a girl? Because she was wearing a long white gown. It flowed out behind her in the breeze. And I know she was young because she was so lithe and free. She moved almost like a dancer. Dancer? Hey, wait a minute. Nasha was wearing a long white dress when we found her in the casket. But Nasha was dead. Or was she? Oh, look here. Hey, hey, you don't suppose we went and buried a girl what was still alive, do you? Oh, that's horrible. Nasha was dead. I examined her carefully. I was looking for some kind of a trick from the maestro here. Nasha is dead. I know she's dead. I took particular care to find out. But it's just like Texas here says. If it wasn't the Russian girl, the way Laurie says, then... Who was it? I say, I guess it would then have to be Dry Gulch Mary. Yeah, but Laurie says it weren't Mary. But it just plain have to be. But it wasn't. Can you picture dried up Landon and George Mary floating gracefully across the desert with white robes trailing behind her? It was a manifestation. What's that? What's that you say? It was a manifestation. And come again, will you, fat boy? <laughs> I turned that apparition loose upon the desert. One of the small, lovely creatures out of the mystic world beyond. Oh, go lay down, will you? Uh, just a minute now, just a minute. That's a darn good idea if he can do it. I have done it. I mean, say, any time you're a mind to, you can reach into the empty air and pull out a pretty girl. Crudely put, but that's what it amounts to. Real live girl with... Flesh on her bones and hair on her head. My dear, unimaginative little man, the girls appearing in my manifestations are perfect in every way. Uh, you don't say. And you can do all this without the help of a couple of slugs of Mountain Dew? I beg your pardon? A panther sweat, white mule, apple squeezing. <laughs> I do not follow you. A maestro of what jumping dick means is... Can you pull pretty women out of your sleeve when you're sober, or do you have to have a skin for it? I never touch intoxicating liquors. Well, call me Cecil. Say, maestro, now how about you and me getting together some evening and having a party, huh? <laughs> Father. Oh, sorry, Laurie, sorry. Slip of the tongue, forgot you was hanging around. Father, uh, you don't believe what this man is saying? No, no, matter of fact, I don't, but... 
I'm hoping. <laughs> well, you're hoping in vain, Dick. Now, don't go saying that. Well, you are. My soul's full of wind. A big, noisy wind, that's all. The day will come, Packard, when you will rue those words. Uh, maybe. But, Jack, we still haven't got an explanation about what Laurie's seen. If it wasn't Mary, and Nasha was dead, there are two possible explanations. Either Laura was mistaken in what she saw... You can rule that out. I was not mistaken. Or else there's another woman in Barry you're dead we don't know about. Hmm. Living in a jackrabbit hole, I suppose. Yeah, that sounds pretty silly. Well, at least they're reasonable explanations, which are more than the maestro has to offer. I have had enough of this meaningless prattle. I wish to be left in peace. Oh, he wants to be alone. If you please. Well, go right ahead, fella. Our chunder is a whole day. Will you go? Oh, I say, why? I wish to sit here. Besides Nasha's grave. And meditate. Go right ahead. We'll go back to the boarding house. Anyone going our way? Yeah, I reckon me and Laura will walk spell with you. All right, come on. What a strange, strange man. Mm, and we're just leaving him here? Not keeping a guard on him? No, let him alone. Jack, uh, what was the reason you made us roll that big boulder down on the top of Nash's grave? To make sure it isn't disturbed. What's that? The grave and the dry sand could be tampered with without anyone being the wiser. And that boulder on top of it, Nash will rest easier. But who would want to, to open a grave? I don't know. I just wanted to make sure. Well, if you ask me, that was the dead gumdest burying I ever did see. And I certainly agree to that. I don't think I'm going to stay and bury you dead much longer. Oh, Laurie, don't say that. I don't belong in this place. I need to be closer to civilization. And you'd be just as happy, too, Father. Oh, no, sir. Dad, Bernard, I was born a desert rat, and by crowdy, I'm going to die a desert rat. I'll leave you here. I'm going back to the cabin. You coming, Father? No. I reckon I'll walk with the boys, please. You won't? I should walk with you, Laurie? No, thanks. Good evening, Jim. Quiet. Bye. Yeah. You know something, Jumping Dick? What's that? You should ought to be shot, keeping a nice girl like Laurie out here in this hole. Uh, that there is what I come along to talk to you about. Yeah? You had a pretty good chance of sizing Laurie up by this time, huh? I reckon. Well, you made up your mind. Done what? Made up your mind. Are you going to marry the girl, or ain't you? Oh, look here. Now, looky, Dick. That ain't no way to talk about that little old girl. Ah, what you mean? Well, Laurie's too good for a pappy to be going around trying to peddle her off. Well, then how else is a man going to get shed of a daughter? Tell me that. Why are you so anxious to get rid of her? You heard it, didn't you? You heard it with your own ears. If I don't get some man to marry her and get her out of here, she's going to yank me out of here. And you don't want to go. And what's more, I ain't going. Now then, if Texas here... Uh, wick on her, a mite? Now, look, he Dick, I'd be... Well, I'd like mighty well do you a favor. I'd like mighty well, too, but... Well, I reckon you'll you'll have to look somewhere else. Oh, I swear to goodness, I don't know what's the matter with young fellas these days. Ain't you got no blood in your veins? Why, well, say, when I was a young buck, I'd have I'd rid a mule 50 miles just to get a look at anything as pretty as long as... Sorry, partner. Ain't no use pressing you? Nope. That sure? Final? I reckon so. Well, I sure ain't got no heart to do what I'm going to have to do then. Hey, what you mean? Well, if a fella can't get rid of a pretty daughter one way, then he has to get rid of her in another way. Oh, I say. Jumping Dick, do you mean what we think you mean? That ain't none of you fellas' business. I'll be separating from you here. Dick, you lay a hand on Laurie. Laurie is something I got to take care of. Yeah, something I got to... Take care of. Jack, do you think... I don't know. Sounds ridiculous. Yes, but we can't take a chance. Haven't we ought to go warn Laura? Well, we might circle around, go over to their cabin, have a look. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Well, not too fast. Might get the idea we're following him. Of all the crazy old buzzards. Well, we'll take care of him if he tries anything funny. Now, forget him for a minute. This is the first time I've had a chance to talk to you two alone since I finished the search. Uh, for the money belt, you mean? Yes. No luck? Not a bit. Been through every cabin, shack, and lean-to in this place. Without folks knowing it? Yes. When I finished with them, I took each of the 18 residents separately, questioned them, and searched them. Hey, you searched them? I did. Well, how about Laurie and uh, Dry Gulch Mary? Well, I searched Mary. I had to take a gun away from her, but I did it. <laughs> I should like to have seen that. I didn't need to go over Laura. 
kind of clothes she wears would have shown the money belt. Then we ain't any closer to finding our $25,000 of reward money than we was. No. Well, I didn't expect to. I just went over the town as a matter of course. Well, what you mean you didn't expect to find it? Because I've known all along who has it. You do? Hey, well, what are we waiting for? Because I don't know where he's hidden. But who are you talking about? Well, the maestro, naturally. The maestro's got our 25 grand? Certainly. Oh, but Jack, we were in the maestro's room with him at the time you were out there being hit over the head. I know it. Well, then how... I don't know how. All I know is that the maestro has our money and not a little living soul in Barry or Dead knows anything about it. Well, I'm a son of a gun. You know that? Positively. Well, and we ain't going to do anything about it? Not just at the moment. There's no way he can get out of Barry or Dead with it without us knowing about it. Let him think he's pulled the wool over our eyes. Then when we're ready, we'll go for it. Well, you're doing it. But there ain't nothing that I'd like better than to sink my fist into that fat bay window clean up to my elbow. Oh, Christ. Oh, we're getting close to Dick's cabin. Keep down. Yeah. There goes Dick inside me. If we're careful, we can get right up to the window. Mm. Listen. And I gave all three of them something to think about before I left them. You told them that you were going to kill me? Well, not just out and out in so many words, but they sure got the idea. But now that the $25,000 has been stolen, what's the good of going on? Maybe it's stolen, and maybe it ain't. Do you mean Jack Packard spread the word around just to throw us off the trail? Yeah. So how he know we was on the trail, I can't figure out. You ain't made no breaks, have you? No. And I think you're wrong. I think the money has been stolen. Packard searched every house and bury your dead. What? He searched this cabin? Yeah. Why, blast his honor. No, never mind me. that. If the money is gone... Well, it's still here and bury your dead. Yes, of course. It's here because there ain't no way for it to get out. And if it's here, I can find it. Have you an idea where? You bet I got an idea. That fat man up at the boarding house. The maestro? He's got it as sure as dogs got fleas. I wonder. You bet he's got it. But he ain't going to have it for long. No, sir. Not with jumping dick around. Jack, did you hear what I did? Come on, let's get out of here quick. I smell murder. Cerebral Cinema hopes you have enjoyed this movie of the mind.